Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome back in another interesting and entertaining video. In our video of today, we'll just keep pushing on you to learn language and to be active English learner starting from this year and jumping into 2021. There are a few potential things that you can focus on in terms of your language and in terms of language proficiency. Over the past week, I have uh, mentioned a few important key features of successful learners. One of them is um, their focus on uh, reading habits and developing sustainable short reading habits. You do not need to necessarily read a ton of books. You just need to focus on particular kind of books and keep reading them sustainably, even if you focus on reading one page per day. I mean, at least that's going to be better than nothing. Uh, three key features of uh, very fluent and uh, accurate language speakers are the following. Their mastery of phrasal verbs, their mastery of idiomatic expressions, and their mastery of prepositions. As much as it sounds silly to mention prepositions, but the mastery of preposition is just an indicator of an advanced level English speakers, EFL speakers. However, this is not our topic of today. Our topic of today is not to school you on the methods and uh, tricks and strategies of to become a good English speaker. This lesson is to help you listen better to me. And, uh, you know, it's very important and key feature of um, students and learners of English is to have this habit of accumulating as much as as much listening as possible. Not only do I emphasize on that part because of its importance, but because the tendency of native speakers to listen a lot to um, language and one of the key features of successful language learners is to do the same thing, pretty much replicating what native speakers do. They listen. Um, they're exposed to different type of stimuli on a daily basis, and this is just formulating their basic listening instinct. So you need to develop this instinct um, of listening a lot, and um, that is going to sharpen your listening and making you better English listener and, of course, eventually speaker. These two channels are really interlinked, and they uh, constitute the asset of being an English speaker. Lots of people I notice focus on <laughs> fluency, but actually fluency is just a brick in the wall. We have accuracy, we have the mastery of lexical diversity, we have the cohesion and coherence, we have uh, being able to achieve the task assigned to you when you're talking, communicating with people. There is also the, um, the interconnectivity of all the skills combined. Uh, pragmatically to, to be a good English speaker. So this is the essential element of being a successful learner. You need to collect a few things from here and there to be able to uh, quite naturally master the language and, being a very, and be very professional English speaker. And just to, com to comfort you, this is not going to happen overnight. It happens over a long span of time, maybe a year, maybe two, maybe 20 years. It depends. So just take it slowly and carefully and naturally and organically and authentically and don't feel rushed. Uh, just because you wake up one day realizing that you have very high motivation to learn language does not mean that you need to um, soldier yourself to a certain discipline for one week and just trying to kill yourself learning. No, you just need to take it naturally and as authentically as possible. Focus on as many online authentic videos as possible. Watch documentaries, watch social-oriented movies, watch social-oriented um, TV shows. That is going to naturally help your instinct of learning language to grow and that is naturally going to help you become a good um, effective language learner. Lots of people do not realize how good they are in English even if they are in the advanced level. They still feel a uh, lack of self-confidence. 
And this is pretty much natural of everybody learning a language. They don't feel the progress. It is like you're living in, on Earth and you don't feel the 40,000 kilometers per second, I think, or per minute uh, of the rotation of Earth. Um, we are part of the learning process and trajectory, so we don't feel the gravity and we don't feel the G-force of uh, the learning, of the trajectory of learning. So it is quite natural to feel less confident when you're talking to people. It's quite natural to feel hesitant to talk to people. It's quite natural to feel uh, you're not progressing uh, quite sufficiently to an ample level of uh, satisfaction. All of that can manifest in different kind of occasions and different kind of circumstances of your learning um, and your conversation. Some some people might, you know, confront other people in very strong language, stamina, and some people have this, they develop this kind of stigma against um, their language and against what they feel uh, that they they lack enough linguistic uh, diversity to communicate with people, even on the basic level. So just keep that in mind. Just take it naturally and uh, authentically and organically, and it's going um, to it, and it's going to grow. It's like a plant, as I mentioned that in previous videos. Language learning is like a plant. Um, it demands enough watering and it demands enough care and it demands enough light and, and exposure and all of that will ultimately lead you to become a good English learner.